You probably clicked on this video because you've recently done a Samsung flip or fold screen replacement and, you've, and you have a blackout issue. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the solutions to every single model so that if and when you run into this issue, and even if you're dealing with it now, you'll be able to get through it. Let's get started. Samsung's foldable phones are marvels of engineering. Flexible screens, hidden hinges, and tiny magnets that make them feel almost magical. But with all that tech come some of the most frustrating issues a repair tech can face. The dreaded blackout or fold detection problem. Today we're diving deep into the world of flip and fold hall sensors, mechanical magnetic adjustments, and the self-repair assistant app. Everything you need to know if you're repairing or are just curious about how these devices know when they're open or closed. Inside every flip and fold, there is a tiny sensor called hall sensor. These sensors detect magnetic fields and the hinge magnets are their dance partners. When the phone opens and closes, the magnetic field of these magnets shift and the sensors pick those up, sending a signal to the board that tells the device I'm opened or I'm closed. On older models like the Z Flip 1 and Fold 1, these sensors are purely analog. That means the phone directly measures the magnetic field strength. Simple, elegant, and mechanically fixable. But as the series progressed, Samsung moved to hybrid or digital hall sensors. And by the Flip 5 or the Fold 4, fold detection practically became fully digital, with firmware handling the logic. No more simple mechanical tweaks, now software decides if your screen wakes or stays dark. Here's where things get tricky. Replacing the frame or screen, and suddenly your phone doesn't detect folds correctly. The screen may stay black when open, or misbehave randomly. Why? Because even the tiniest misalignment of the hinge magnets, often just a half millimeter, can throw off analog or hybrid sensors. Older analog devices can usually be fixed by carefully repositioning the magnets. With hybrid models, slight adjustments might help, but sometimes the device needs partial calibration. And on fully digital models, the magnets are basically there to hold the phone closed. So those phones rely on firmware calibration stored in the Hall IC. Mechanical fixes alone won't cut it. For older hybrid devices, like the Flip 1 through 4 and the Fold 1 through 3, mechanical adjustments is your first line of defense. Carefully examine the hinge magnets. On the Flip 4, for example, moving the magnet just 0.3 to even 0.6 millimeters can restore proper detection or regluing it or reseating it, it often comes back to life, as I've demonstrated in a previous video on the Flip 4, showing this magnet trick by either adding additional small magnets or actually physically moving the other, you find that sweet spot where it was previously calibrated and it now will work again. You will notice that as you test incrementally, you may go too far and you might make it worse. But having done this on a Flip 4, you might be under the impression you can get away with doing it on the Flip 5 or Fold 6, and that trick won't work. The IC logic ignores the analog field completely. So digging into those frames to find those magnets isn't going to be the solution. This is where Samsung's self-repair assistant comes in. Available on newer devices such as the Flip 5 6 and Fold 4 through 6, the app includes a digital hall sensor calibration function. After the screen or frame replacement, you can run the calibration process and the phone will automatically recalibrate the IC, restoring proper open and closed detection. One of the pro tips though, a factory reset will not fix this. The reset only wipes user data. It does not recalibrate the whole IC. So even if the phone seems broken, don't panic. The app is your friend here. So let me summarize what I just explained. The Flip 1 through 4 and the Fold 1 through 3 analog and hybrid sensors, a, me a mechanical magnet adjustments will work and the app calibration isn't necessary. The Flip 5 through 6, Fold 4 through 6, a fully digital and the self-repair assistant is going to be the solution 
for recalibrating the phone. Because the mechanical tweaks won't work. And even a factory reset, even though it may end up getting the phone to temporarily recognize that it's open and closed, it isn't a permanent solution. Factory reset is not the solution. So as I put up these tables, screenshot them so that you can reference them when needed. Now, one thing to note, if you're experiencing a blackout issue, make sure you've detected whether or not it's an issue with the magnets, the sensors, and not an issue with the internal flex. I made a detailed video showing how to replace the flex cables behind the displays that are inside the hinge on these models. It's a very complicated procedure, but might be the reason your particular phone is blocking out. Now, if you had a working phone and you've moved over to a new, a completely new screen with a new frame, most likely it's going to be a calibration issue and that screen is not defective. But if you have a phone that's suddenly blacked out and you can get the screen on, but when you start to close it, it blacks out and things like that, it's probably the flux cable and not an issue with the hall sensor. Now onto the foldables, which are incredible feats of engineering, but their complexity demands respect. Whether you're a tech hobbyist or a professional repair technician, understanding hall sensors, the hinge magnets, and the digital calibration is key to keeping these devices alive, especially after a screen swap. If you've ever struggled with a blackout after the screen or frame swap, try mechanically adjusting on the analog devices and always run the self-repair assistant on digital models. And remember, patience and precision is everything. So let me walk you through real quick what it would look like if say you were working on a Galaxy Z Flip 5 or 6 and you've done a screen swap and you've got the blackout screen issue. Sometimes you'll find that the screen, the main screen will stay on and hopefully it stays on long enough for you to download the app and proceed with the calibration process. But if you're finding that it does shut off before you can download the app or it shuts off too quickly, what you need to get is a magnet and find the sweet spot on the frame where you can activate the hall sensor by using that strong magnetic field, basically forcing the phone to think that it's open. Now, one of the shortcuts in order to download the app is to take the magnet or even just a screwdriver that has a magnet in it and hold it on the corner or the area of the frame where it activates the screen. Then you go into the phone app and you dial star pound zero star pound. And then you will see that there's a Hall IC button that you can click. You'll remove the screwdriver and then you'll put it back. And then remove the screwdriver again. And then you can hit exit and the phone will stay on in order to allow you to get to the app to download it to run the actual calibration and get the screen to, to stay on or to recalibrate perfectly. This will allow you enough time to find the app, download it, so that you can actually run the calibration. So here's a step-by-step -step on how to do the calibration on a flip or a fold after the screen slash frame replacement. You should start by connecting a USB cable so that you ensure that the phone stays powered on during the whole process. You may need to force the main screen to turn on. If it's already blacked out, you hold down the power button and press the volume button up once, then the volume down twice. And this should force the internal display to, to turn on, basically giving it a soft reset. If this doesn't work or if it does continue to shut off, then you're going to use a magnet finding the sweet spot on the frame to force the phone to activate the screen, making it think that the phone is open. This is where you're going to go and find the Samsung Self Repair Assistant app. Once you've downloaded it and launched the app, you will locate in the menu for calibration, sensor, and the hall sensor, what's called digital hall sensor calibration, or something similar. The app will prompt you to follow instructions, for instance, fold or unfold or press a button. For the flip models, after starting calibration, you may be instructed to press volume up or volume down or both to initiate the calibration. The phone may vibrate to confirm calibration in progress. When calibration finishes, the internal screen should work normally again. And after calibration, fold and unfold the phone several times. Confirm that the fold and the internal screen turns off and goes dark when it's shut. And when you unfold it and open it back up, that it comes back on properly. 
That way you know that the calibration was successful. Hopefully you've been able to screenshot or at least save this video so that you will be able to use this information when repairing devices. And that sums up all of the fold and flip models. Hopefully this video has helped you and you've been able to get through that blackout issue and you're back to having a functional phone for either yourself or your client. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.